So, labor story, or like library, or library, library story, library story, um, well, has decided to say goodbye to Gumroad and head straight for Patreon. Now, uh, the reason now the reason they did this is because apparently, like a lot of uh, folks that have used Gumroad in the past that I follow, uh, like Lady Drasimi, Groblick, and several others, uh, basically Gumroad's new policy has basically caused a lot of these people to say, "Yeah, Gumroad's not it for us anymore." Because Gumroad has basically said, "Yeah, you, if you're going to use us, you're going to use us to be your selling center. You know your." Um, you know, shopping, you know, center for people to buy from, you're going to have to obey some new rules. And those new rules are, you're going to have to be a little clean, if you know what I mean. You're going to have to be decent, you're going to have to be clean, uh, and so on. So, labor, so, laborary, laborary story, um, who's known for doing the Emily Sanders series and spinoff series similar, where, uh, similar to the character, if not associated with the character and so on. Uh, shapeshifter ones, shapeshifter gooey, melty ones, and all that. You know, they decide that they're going to, like I say, leave Gumroad because Gumroad basically said, yeah, you ain't going to do your thing here anymore because it's too erotic, it's too NFSW, it's not very kosher, if you know what I mean. So, uh, laboratory story, labor, uh, laboratory, laboratory story, uh, basically decided to go to Patreon. And the way they have this hooked up is $15 a month gets you the archives as well as the new stuff that they're working on. $3 a month just gets you the new stuff uh, that they're working on and everything. And that's you know all right in my opinion right now if you just want the new stuff. Uh, because apparently the one catch that Gumroad has uh, come out and said that I guess kind of saves face for them. And I've talked about this before is the fact that if you purchased anything from any of the people that uh, use Gumroad to sell the NFSW-like material, um, that you'll be able to keep that in your library. So you don't have to worry about that being deleted and, and all that. You'll still be able to download it over and over and over again for as long as you can, um, and you won't have an issue. The only issue is the people that you, know, you bought them from, like a uh, library story, you know, and Groblick and Drasimi and the other ones out there, um, they are not going to have any stores up at Gumroad anymore. And so they've had to basically find other avenues for revenue. Now, people like Dressamai and Groblick and, um, you know, I think even Nextat, if you will, they've they've all journeyed off and done their own thing. They've created uh, their own uh, websites, if you will. Some like, you know, Groblick and Nextat have gone to create their own websites because of not just Gumroad, but because of, you know, Patreon. So I don't know if uh, Library Story, you know, you know, like Library, Library, Library Story is going to last long on Patreon because, uh, again, they're going through similar policy changes as well. So I think what they're going to have to do is probably follow suit with what Nextat and Groblick and others are doing. And that's just, you know, create a website or, you know, go and to go, go on to a place like Subscribestar or something and, you know, just, you know, um, provide the con you know, upload and provide the content there because, you know, I think it'll be easier for them and less stressful. Now, library, uh, library, la library, easy for me to see, library story uh, has come out and said that they've gone and done similar things before and they've kind of been kicked to the curb because of what they present. But to me, I think if they go the route of creating their own website, if not going to Subscribestar, I think they should be okay. I don't think they'll have any issue uh, in the future if they do that because, again, you know, Patreon's a good place to go. Trouble TRO is there. Joven16 is there. And, you know, that stuff is kind of, you know, risque, NFSW uh, at times. Um, you know, but, you know, you know, they're there. They're still, you know, providing content for people and everything. Obviously, they're kind of edging the guidelines, if you will, and what they present. Uh, but what's interesting about that um, is Trouble TRO and Joven16 for a while were 
not in the um, you know, kind of like when you go to your page, when you go onto Patreon, onto your home page, onto the home page of Patreon, where it shows uh, the people you're subscribed to on the on the left hand corner of the screen. Well, if you're on the computer or laptop, that is. Well, apparently Trouble and Joven were not there for a while. And I'm thinking, what's going on? So I would go and search for them in the creators, and I would find them there, but they were not like listed in the member in the uh, Patreons that I was uh, supporting. So that was kind of strange. So I don't know if that was a glitch on Patreon's part, or maybe Patreon is kind of you know getting on them a little bit by of you know by you know by the fact that they're you know presenting stuff that might be borderline you know you know over a policy, if you will, kind of against the policies. I'm not really sure, but obviously that may or may not be the case because trouble did appear back on the uh, Patreon side of the things of those that I financially support. So, you know, I don't know if it's a glitch on that part or maybe there's something else going on. I don't know. All I know that for Trouble and Joven16, I think they may have to go the route that um, Next Stat has done, Nexy Comics, that's N-E-X-Y Comics, uh, has done that to create their own website. Same with Groblick, you know, or go to Subscribestar if they have to because Subscribestar is more, you know, lenient, more NFSW friendly. So they, those might be options for them in the future. But right now, Patreon does seem like a, a good place to be. I mean, from what I understand, they have been a little less restrictive. They kind of let up a little bit on some of the policies and guidelines, I guess, because of all the criticism they were getting because of that or because of those you know policy changes they were making. So they've let up a little bit. But still, you know, those, those policies that they want to enforce eventually are still there. So if I'm Trouble TRO, I'm Joven16, or in this case, I'm Elaborate a a Story, you know, Elaborate Story, if I'm any one of them, I would kind of consider other options. And those options, in my opinion, being uh, places like Subscribestar or creating your own website. And I think all they have to do is just ask around to Nextat. Uh, Nexi Comics, that is, and Groblick, and I think I'll be able to get some information on how to do the website deal, as well as even maybe look into how, what Subscribestar has to offer for them to continue their uh, stuff there. Because again, we're in a situation uh, right now to where you have these public places, you know, like Patreon and more importantly, Gumroad in this case, that are changing and they're changing. Not for the better for people that like to sell their artwork or the stories uh, to make a living on the side, you know. So, uh, so yeah. Um, if I'm lab, if I'm Labyrinth Story, and you know, uh, if I'm Labyrinth Story, and I'm uh, Trouble TRO, and I'm Joven Sixteen, and others like them, I look at the other options that are out there. That's what I do. And that's what I would do right now. But yeah, uh, if you're a fan of that. Uh, La- Labra story, if you will, in the Emily Sanders series and the series related to it or connected to it. Yeah, if you purchase anything from them on Gumroad and it's in your library, you don't have to, nothing to worry about. But the store is pretty much done. You go to the store, it's still there, but you can't purchase anything. Um, so yeah, if you have anything that you did purchase from them, it's still in your library, you're good to go, you're fine. But if you want to find them, they are at Patreon. They are at Patreon. Uh, as of right now, but if I'm them, in closing, again, I'll say this, if I'm them, if I'm Trouble TO and I'm Joven16, I look at what Nick Stat, Nixie Comics has done, I look at what Groblick has done, and I say, okay, I'm going to need a backup outside of Patreon, and, you know, because and because of the, uh, you know, because of the fact, I'm trying to find the right word to say, because of the fact that I don't know if Patreon will pull the same stuff, you know, that uh, Gumroad did. So, If I'm them, I look into those options. But yeah, Gumroad apparently has claimed another victim and basically forced another uh, client, potential client uh, that they had uh, that made financial gain on behalf of them. You know, brought them some attention and, you know, in Libera story in the Emily Sanders series and all that, Gumroad has claimed another victim. And yeah, this is not looking good for Gumroad or any site like them because You got to, if you're going to, if you're a selling site like Gumroad and and you have something out there that says, hey, you know, we're user-friendly, creator-friendly and all that, you need to live up to that. 
you need to live up to that saying as well as even add in, you know, maybe a special rating. Say, hey, you know, if you got mature material, let us know. We'll let you post it, but we'll only let you post it if it's under the M rating. And that's about it. But yeah, just uh, let's talk about that real quickly. Give me your thoughts, guys, on how you feel about this whole thing with Gumroad. Uh, and what do you think the end result will be for pe- people like Trouble TRO and Joven 16 and Labra Story, you know, as they're now part of Patreon? Well, Trouble and Joven have always been part of that. But what do you think the next step should be for them? Should Patreon probably uh, down the line take the similar steps that Gumro did uh, with, you know, Labra Story and others like them, you know, by basically saying, yeah, no more NFSW? What, what are your thoughts? And again, my suggestion to all three of them, look into creating your own websites as well as look into a place like Subscribestar. I think it'll be beneficial for you guys in the, uh, in the future. And I do apologize for that. That's a vibration notification there. I do apologize for that. Uh, but guys, let me know what your thoughts are, and I am out.